Hey, this is Doug Standard with Fearless Presentations, and this is part one of a seven-part series of the seven qualities of a good speaker that every presenter should know and really emulate. And tip number one, the very first thing that we're gonna cover is self-confidence. That is the thing out of all the, the, the aspects of a speaker that folks in the audience look for is they look for the confidence. In fact, one of the things I started saying years ago was that people judge our competence by the confidence that we show when we stand up and speak. And, and this has actually been proved through science. Uh, specifically, a couple years ago, there was a, a, a survey that was done, or a research study that was done, where they identified the traits of a speaker, that, the traits that people look for in, when, when they're sitting in the audience. And one of the things that they kind of noticed was that the way that a person stands, the eye contact, the things that people do when they're up in front of a group are actually just as, if not more important, than the things that we say. The reason why is because when we're, the way that we stand, the way that we present, the way that we communicate with the audience, there's a judgment that's being that's being um, that that's taking place in the minds of the folks that are in the audience. They're, they're, the thing that they're asking themselves is, do I believe what this person is saying? And if there's a consistency in the way that we present ourselves and the things that we're saying, then that's where that trust level is built with, with the audience. So. The reason why this is so important and one of the reasons why we cover self-confidence a lot, especially in the early stages of the two-day fearless presentations class, is that if you have a series of successes in front of a group, it's going to be much easier for you to present yourself with, with confidence. It's going to be much easier for you to stand in front of a group with poise outside of the classroom. So what we do in the early stages of the fearless presentations class is we give folks a very simple process to follow. They, we give them step one and have them follow that process and have a success, pretty easy. Then we add something a little bit more complicated to it. And then we add something a little bit more complicated to it. And then we add something a little bit more complicated. And every step along the way, they're having a success after success after success after success. So at the end of a, of a, of a two-day class, the folks kind of walk out walking on cloud nine. So the, the, the real interesting thing that you want to keep in mind is that if you don't think that you're portraying yourself with self-confidence when you stand up and speak, probably means that you're not. And so your audience is forming that perception whether you want them to or not. So if you get some help from an outside class like the Fearless Presentations class, it can really help. So if you're interested in improving your self-confidence and you want to really look and feel more comfortable when you stand up in front of a group, make sure and go to fearlesspresentations.com. Look for the seminar schedule and look for a class that's coming up in your area.